Oh, geez. We have two aces out already in your reading here. Ooh. You've got two people coming towards you. That's what this is. One is angry and one is very passionate about you. I feel like these two go together and these two go together. Um, so I feel like you have an ex from your past who's upset because you may be getting a new love offer here from somebody new. Um, and these two could even possibly know each other. There could be a fight that pops off between the two of them because both of them want you collective both of them um, want to be committed to you both of them want to be dedicated to you okay yeah I'm hearing hopelessly devoted to you yeah they want your love Hopelessly devoted to you, right? My heart is saying, oh, forget him, right? Yeah, my mind is saying, don't let go. That's from Greece, the movie Greece. Yeah, both of them want you, okay? Both of them want a new beginning with you. Both of them want this love. Both of them are in love with you. They both want to be committed to you. Um, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be an Aquarius. This person, I feel like this is somebody from your past. They could both be from your past. I'm just feeling like this is somebody new. Um, I'm also getting heavy that these two know about each other. They're competing. These two are competing for your love behind the scenes. You may not even realize it because you've got your back turned here. You're focused on other things. You could be on the internet. These could be two people that you could be dating online as well for someone, okay? But there can only be one choice, and I feel like somebody is going to end up heartbroken over this. Somebody is going to miss out on a, a, a out on the miss out on an opportunity with you of a lifetime. Yeah, see there's a competition going on. You may not even you may not even want love right now. You may not even be interested in it right now after everything that's happened to you because I feel like you've been be betrayed. Both of these people could have betrayed you. They I mean, one feels new but they could have both stuck a sword in your back. So I don't know if it's two X's or not. I know it's two, I feel like it's two masculine energies. And you're no longer um, offering your love to people anymore. Or you're going to be very, very choosy. You know, but both of these people want to come home or they both um, see you as wish fulfillment. Okay. They know that they, they would, you're their dream, you're their wish. They could have um, a wish-fulfilled life with you. Yeah, see, one is a definitely from your past, wanting to come forward um, and choose a new path. Okay, this is somebody who's betrayed you, maybe even talked about you behind your back. They want to communicate they're about to take action. They're in a lot of regret because they've turned their back on you in the past and you've got your boundaries up. Um, you, you're not speaking to this person. You're not chasing them. There's no way you're going to chase them. You're not playing any games and you're not going to be putting up with any BS from people. Okay? Um, so that's this person from your past. Clarify this one here, this Knight of Cups. Who is this? This person from your past, they could be um, possibly a Leo, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, so somebody, it looks like somebody's getting some kind of karma here. What is this all about? Or karma's coming at them. They can't stop watching you. I get the, I get the sense that somebody's kind of being encouraged to come towards you because people know they can't stop watching you this is it feels like a secret admirer to me I gotta say they're watching you from afar they're in love with you I feel like um, I, I feel like this is somebody new I gotta say 
I feel like it's a secret admirer, but it may be somebody that your ex knows because they kind of came out sort of together. Yeah, they see you as an angel. You may not even notice this person. Like, I feel like um, they watch you, though. Maybe this is somebody that you haven't spoken to yet. You don't know who this is. You're thinking to yourself, who the heck is it? It could even be somebody that you work with. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. It could be someone that you work with. If it's someone you work with, everybody else knows that they're crushing on you hard. Um, they are. And um, they're telling this person, would you just go for it? Would you just do it? Go after the collective, the collective single. Ask them out on a date. You know, I kind of get the sense this is somebody that you work with. It could even be um, like a security guard or somebody that you just sort of float by every day. You know, you and all of your beauty. And they just kind of stand there and drool and think about you and, oh, you know. it. You know what it's giving me is um, they're showing me the scenes from, oh, geez, what movie is that, Father? Mall Cop. Thank you, Divine. Um, Mall Cop, where... Um, he's just, he keeps watching, like he's on a Segway, right? He's on a Segway and he's like watching that girl who does hair. Okay. Um, and she's like not really paying any attention to it. You know, when he drives, he like hits another car in a Segway because he's watching her so close. I feel like it's, it's kind of like that. It's somebody that you work with, someone that you pass by every day, but you don't really, notice them you don't really say anything to them you're very quiet and then you just go and you work and you're lovely and you're beautiful you know this person can't get enough of you i kind of think it's somebody that you work with yeah they're about to come and approach you here they're scared but they are getting um like like people at work are elbowing them like come on dude like nudging them to come towards you okay so you've got two people that are about to approach you, one from your past, and I feel like one is new. Um, and they've been watching you, I feel, for a very long time. They've been wanting to come forward, but they're scared, you know? They put you on a pedestal here, this new person. They see you as so beautiful. You're like stunningly beautiful to this person. They can't get enough of you. Oh, my gosh. Um, they're spending long hours thinking about you. I feel like they've been crushing on you for a long time. Um, maybe they were even, this person could have had a crush on you when you weren't single, when you were with this ex, and now they see you single and free. This ex hasn't come back around yet. I mean, um, they may see this as their, their opportunity. They're being nudged to come around. So I feel like they're about to ask you out on a date. You know, you could have another person, too, who wants you. Holy cow. You could have another person, too, who wants you. And if that's the case, this new person may, may know that as well. Or they're wondering, do you have someone else behind the scenes? You know, um, I feel like there's this King of Wands energy that's going to be very jealous, very envious. So you could have actually three people that want to come towards you, that want to communicate. Okay? And I feel like you are single. You're... Um, you're okay being single, but you're just working really hard. You're very focused. Um, you're, tr you're taking good care of yourself. Yeah, you're an enigma. Nobody knows what you're doing behind the scenes because you're not telling anybody. You may keep to yourself a lot. Um, you could be somebody who, like, you know, you have lunch alone, you know. Um, you go home and... And you spend time with yourself and you're, you know, you just do your own thing. You don't really engage with other people. You're very quiet. But you are gorgeous. People are finding you absolutely stunningly beautiful. I don't think you're doing anything 
like weird in the background. I think you're just doing you, living your life, focused on your money, your stability. You're very intuitive as well, but just very quiet. I see you as being a very quiet, private person. You could be a Virgo, you could be a Cancer, a Pisces, um, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, but you are sexy. And I, you know what? You don't, I don't even think you realize how attractive you really are. Like, for real. I'm feeling this very um, humble, down-to-earth energy from you. But people are seeing you as so extremely sexy right now. I feel like you have three people coming towards you who want you back. One is a player. This one here, they're, I feel like they're a player. They could have even gotten themselves stuck because they were juggling you with somebody else. So now they may have gotten themselves stuck in a karmic situation that they no longer want. Then we have this other person from your past. This is also an ex who's in a lot of regret for ever turning their back on you. They're about to approach you. They're choosing a new path. They're coming your way. They may need to travel a distance to get to you as well. And then we've got this new person over here that can't take their eyes off of you, man. I'm telling you. This person could be a king, um, a king of swords, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe. Or this could be somebody else altogether as well, having a tower moment. You've got, so I feel like you've got three exes and a new person just pining for you, longing for you, wishing for you. You've got all of these people um, all of a sudden now that either want to come back in or want to start something new with you, okay? Oh my goodness, collective. But you are very loving, and I feel like um, you're very cheerful with people. You're very good to people. You're happy. You make people feel welcome and at home. You're very warm. People love that warmth that you have. You're very abundant. You're a hard worker. You're gorgeous. You're intuitive. You're fun here as well with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you've got exes feeling like a fool, and you've got somebody new coming in with this Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. Your exes feel completely stupid now that they've walked away from you. There's um, this third person. This is a King of Swords energy who's having a tower moment. I feel like they're getting their karma. Their foundation is getting rocked. This could be somebody who cut you out cold very quickly. They could have been very harsh and nasty with their communication as well in the past. Three separate exes and a new person. Now, now there's four. Holy cow, collective. But you are. You're like everything here. Your wish fulfillment. Your loving, caring, nurturing, gentle... Um, beautiful, loving energy, you're intuitive, you're fun, you're sassy, you're gorgeous, smart, reliable, dependable, and very abundant and successful. Everybody wants you. Who wouldn't want all of that? Okay. And you're single. It's driving all of these people kind of nutty. Yeah, there is somebody here. I'm kind of getting the sense that this is this new person's energy. Um, one of these people here could be your twin flame. And you're going to have a big decision to make in love here very soon. Clarify this three of cups. Oh, man. Yeah, Empress Energy, you're moving on. Um, you know what? I feel like you have been so hurt and so betrayed, and you've kept it all to yourself, haven't you? you you've been wounded. Some really bad things have been done to you, okay? 
heartbreaking stuff. I'm telling you. I feel like these exes, these people from your past, they walked all over you, man. And now you're very quietly trying to put all of that in the past. Okay? You've been put in a couple third-party situations or betrayed a few times here. And, um, yeah, you just don't want anyone from your past anymore. I feel like, um, you know, for some of you, you've been treated so badly that it's given you, like, PTSD. Okay? It's really changed you. It's, it's made it so it's hard for you to trust other people. Maybe that's why you keep to yourself a lot. Because you don't want to get hurt anymore. You know, but um, during this time in isolation, when you've been keeping to yourself, you've been building yourself up. You know, you're every queen in the deck right now. So I feel like, um, I feel like there is, number one, there's at least three people who want to get back together with you. But he, here's the three, okay? Three people want to get back together with you, but one of these, one of them is a twin flame, and it may even be this new person coming in. You could have been dealing with karmic individuals this whole time that have hurt you so bad. Like you could have been hurt consecutively over and over and over again by these exes. Okay? And I feel like you just, you're moving on, you're trying to put that all behind you, and you're attracting somebody who isn't going to hurt you, okay? What a great concept, having an, a normal, healthy relationship where you're not getting hurt all the time. So, yeah, I feel like you're moving on from the past. You may not want them back. You could still be trying to heal from that, you know? I kind of get the sense that, the experiences you've had in love have shaken you and hurt you to the core, to the point where you don't know if you can trust anyone new, you know? But yet at the same time, you don't know if you want to be alone the rest of your life. You know, it's scary because you don't want to get hurt again. And I think that's what you, you got over and over and over again by people. You know, you just don't want to be hurt anymore. So, yeah, with the, and I've got the world card on the bottom of the deck. You're moving on. You're closing out cycles. You're trying to leave everyone in your past in the past where they belong. And you're trying to focus on new things in your future, knowing that you're going it alone. Yeah, you're walking away from, like, everybody from your past. Okay, yep, and you're just letting things end, and you don't even know yet about this other person, this new person who's watching you. You don't even know about them yet, and that person is in love with you. They are, so I feel like you're about to meet somebody new who isn't going to betray you, and it's, it happens to be a king of pentacles. And your true soulmate connection. Okay. So, yeah, this new person could be um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're the ones who are watching you like a hawk. Yeah, look. They, they want you, collective. I feel like this could be a true soulmate for you coming in. Okay. And I feel like they're going to right all of the wrongs that everybody else did in the past, I got to say. Oh, let's get some advice for you. You just don't know who to trust anymore, you know? Everybody hurt you, one right after another. That's what it feels like to me. And you just don't know who you can trust anymore. It's... Yeah, see, you're going off to calmer waters. Um, you're, just, you're just trying to heal and move on with your life. Um, but there's, look, somebody new is coming in. These, when, when one door closes, another one opens, right? Here's this open window, letting all of this love in. Somebody who's going to be real with you. Someone who's going to be honest with you. 
okay, who's going to change the way you view love and the way that you trust, all right? And I feel like it's this new person coming in. I feel like it's somebody new. Yeah, other people want to come back around too, but these are people that um, you already know. You already know them. They've already shown you their true character. So you've got people wanting to come back around and you've got new love coming in at the same time. You're going to have a big decision to make when it comes to love. I feel like you're making it now, though. Okay, you're saying, I'm done with people from my past. Yeah, you're done feeling orphaned. And maybe this is what you're afraid of, you know, if you trust someone else and you give them your love and you open your heart to them, are they going to leave you behind as well? Are they going to make you feel all used up and orphaned and left alone? I feel like this is what you're afraid of. Okay? But not everyone is a bad person. I feel like your, look, spirit is gifting you here. There, you're releasing the pains from the past and putting it behind you, and spirit is bringing you in somebody new, and it's going to lead to love. This is the Ten of Cups in this deck, the land of milk and honey, your happiness, emotional fulfillment, okay, wish fulfillment. Yeah, see, you're releasing the past, and you're taking a leap of faith into the future, you may be going it alone now, collective, but you're about to meet a true soulmate. Okay? You you are. Yep, you're ready. It's like, and I feel like, you know, when I tell you somebody new is coming into the picture, this is what you're thinking. Am I ready to accept new love into my life? Am I ready yet? Am I ready? Have I healed enough? Because I still feel you... Um, not knowing if you can trust others, which honestly, you can't trust everyone. I'm totally with you on that. Use your discernment with everyone who approaches you, okay, and trust your intuition. But I feel like this person, this new person coming forward, this is somebody that you can trust, okay? And I feel like Spirit wants you to just take a leap of faith be open to receive new love, okay? Maybe try to stay out of your head about it. You know what I mean? A lot of that um, not being able to trust people and the fear of being in love again, it's because of the wounds that were given to you before in the past by bad people. You know, not everyone is going to be bad. And the scales are being balanced for you. Look, you've got new love coming in. I'm telling you, this is masculine energy, very passionate, and this is them coming in fast. And this is somebody who's divinely led with an 11. So listen, I feel like a divine masculine. It's either your true twin flame or maybe a displaced masculine. Is, is about to approach you and ask you out. They want to get to know you better. They're already in love with you, I feel. So, you know, get ready because they're coming forward. You're about, you're going to be loved the right way. Spirit, what you've experienced, everything else, you've experienced, and this is what this is, you've experienced everything else. You've, there's the most pentacles you can have in the deck is ten. You've got nine pentacles here. There's only one missing, okay? In the nine of pentacles, what, the way I'm seeing this is each and every time you learned a lesson, you passed a test, and you leveled up through the whole entire tarot deck, okay? Now, this means you've experienced the pain. You've experienced the purging, the crying, the healing, okay? You've experienced cleansing this energy out forgiving the unforgivable and releasing, okay? You've made it to the end of your journey and you've transformed yourself and um, your abundance, okay? Now you're ready for love, the right kind of love. That's something that you haven't experienced yet because the people that you got with were bad people who hurt you, okay? 
but this next pentacle that you get, this next offer, right? This is that big pentacle that you get. This new person is going to have you experience love, real love, the way it is, the way it should be, the way it should feel. You haven't experienced that yet. For whoever I'm talking to, all you got was hurt over and over and over again, one right after the next, when all you gave them was love and happiness and wish fulfillment. There's going to be somebody coming in who's going to appreciate all that you give people, all that kind of beautiful energy that you put out there. They're going to appreciate it, and they're going to be solid for you. And that's something you haven't experienced yet. Just you wait. Just you wait, collective. I'm telling you, this new person is coming in fast. I'm telling you, you know what? A few weeks or a month down the road, you know, you let me know. You drop a comment and give me that confirmation because I am telling you as sure as I'm sitting here, man. Spirit wants you to finally experience love, real love and real dedication from someone and it's coming in okay as sure as I'm sitting here it's coming in so you know 